My name's Marcus Miller. My uh, company's called Bowler Hat. Search now is hugely complicated. There are so many factors within this, you know, relevance and popularity and authority. There is a science to certain elements, but there's also an art to it as well. And it's also a, a glue pulling together sort of marketing disciplines and, you know, creative disciplines and PR. All these things need to sort of be connected by SEO to ensure maximum benefit within search. A specific approach for any individual business really depends on their, on their goals and requirements and then the search landscape. The big thing is for people to just understand the environment that they operate in and there's really no better way to do that than to, than to, than to Google the terms that you think are, you know, that your potential customers will use. Look at those results. If paid results are the most dominant part of the page then you probably need to consider being in the paid results and for a local business where you may have paid results and then local listings, you know, the local results, local, local SEO kind of approach would probably be best for you. It's very important to understand the approach that's going to be best for you before you just sort of dive in. The most common mistakes are that people don't get the basics right. It's very rare that we see a site that's got even well-structured page titles or well thought out meta descriptions, which are basically provide the advertisement text in your search engine listing, you know, search, ultimately provides us with the insights, it provides us with the tool to put the content out there, and then once it hooks into you know, social, it provides us the tools to, to build a relationship with people and to keep in front of them. A good local example, maybe Faisley Studios, when someone does a search for you know, wedding venue, wedding venues, Birmingham, you tend to see the three kind of distinct set results on that page. We've got the kind of page results at the top of the page. We've got uh, traditional organic results below them, and then we've got sort of localised results. Well, Faisley have an advert, they have an organic listing, they have a, a local listing, and then they have another organic listing. So, so if you're looking for a wedding venue in and around Birmingham or the West Midlands, it's, it's not possible to find Faisley, it's just impossible not to come across them. That shows a, an understanding of the kind of search landscape, of the various options within that, within that page. They use social channels well, they're creating content to bring people around looking for you know, interesting wedding venues, kooky wedding venues. So they're, they're not just tackling it from one specific, okay, we want to rank for this one keyword. I think how are all of the different ways that our potential customers can find us or become aware of our business.